Skype interview. Trip. One, two. Testing one, two. Yellow. Hi. Oh, how you doing? Hi. Can you see me? I can't see you, but I can hear you. Okay. Okay. I'll do that on the guitar, but you want me to play the piano? Uh... Yeah, let's go through everything that you've prepared for me first, and then I'm gonna, we'll go into the improvising, okay? Okay. How's that volume? I can't believe it. 
it's so wrong now, but I know the proofs in it hurts. You say I'm crazy, but you don't think I know what you've done. But when you call me baby, I know I'm not the only one. Sure. 
Undecided. Take one. Seventeen years, but I've been playing since yeah. I was seven, and my dad's a piano yeah. player. Yeah, so I had to learn all that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. I figured. I just wanted to. Yeah. Oh, sure. Great. All right. So um, I I've heard enough music. That's good. And now I want to just have a have, right. a have a chat with you. Sure. Get to know you a little bit better. <laughs> so tell me why you know. Why Resley? I know you, you're really interested in the low residency program, right? Yes. Yeah, so uh, how did you come to find out a program and the low res and say a little bit about that? Well, <clears throat> my mom's a school teacher and she, uh, a couple of years ago in the summertime, she went up to Leslie for a uh, like a special ed kind of convention. Yeah. And then she found out about the music uh, um education you know the music program therapist but years later I after I finally graduated from uh, Wilmington University I was I, yeah. I was uh, I was thinking about teaching in a school but the closest thing to what I'm doing now with one-on-one -on -one, uh, would be musical therapy um, and I feel you like mean, you mean music therapy yes and I, I feel like a therapist a lot of times when I'm with my students one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I have a, a kid with a brain injury that uh, I work with a lot, once a week, you know, every week. And uh, he's having significant improvement, which is great. Um, I work with a, an older guy that lives in a group home that has uh, schizophrenia. And we work one on one. Uh, uh, it's just like it feels more like me being in music therapy than um, teaching at a school music or any other uh, avenues. And uh, uh, okay, okay. Well, so tell me, tell me about yourself and who you are as a musician, you know, who, who are you in a music identity, what do you believe about music and, yeah. You know, yeah, I believe music is the biggest therapy there is, um, you know, just from being little and listening to music, not even knowing what therapy was or anything, I know there was so magic going on listening to music in the way made you feel and brings out any emotion that you're willing to give give out. Um, I've been looking into the 432 tuning and doing some uh, things with that with students, especially uh -huh. the, uh, the student with schizophrenia, and it uh -huh. seems to really calm them down when we just take it down eight cents. And, yeah. and I know there's like total like it's 
total medicine <laughs> music. Yeah. Yeah. What strengths do you think you would bring into a low residency music therapy graduate program? Hmm. Uh, my positivity. Mm -hmm. Um, my knowledge for music already. If it, if people need help in certain areas on their instrument. Um. I well with the uh, clients I know I'd really help them a lot um, with the music and my vibe my vibration I give off and I'm very calm so that always helps <laughs> <laughs> yeah now what do you what do you think you would find challenging at graduate school um, since most of it is online, uh, I find, uh, maybe like if I have five classes at one time, but, but I, I'm used to doing that because I just got done, uh, Wilmington University. So I'm used right, to, right. So, I'm in the, in the mode for that right now anyway, so. Right. The, th the three weeks in the summer would probably be the most challenging, going there and staying. Just because I just got engaged. <laughs> Last week I got engaged. Thank you. But, makes the heart grow fonder, right? <laughs> Distance. Well, you know, the, the, um, yeah, the residency is really intense. It's three straight weeks, and for those of the students that are accepted who need, and I see you would need, the um, principles and practices introduction, introduction to music therapy prerequisite, that ends up a four week okay. um, yeah, experience because you need to do that week before the residency starts and a lot of the residencies uh, students, they do that in that first week in July. So it's really intense, it's long days, it's absolute immersion though so some people do really well with that yeah because you don't have to think about anything else other than uh just going into classes and just really being in the work for the whole day and so you know that actually brings a different kind of learning experience to the table yeah yeah so it is intense though it's very intense um but the you know the rest of the year is the work is done online. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you, you know, how do you foresee your ability to be able to transition from that super intensive um, environment academically to back to your everyday life and you know family work, whatever it is, and having to self-direct your own structural. Um, you know, and programming and reading and everything because the assignments then become online assignments, right? Yes. Um, I don't, I don't find it would be a problem. Um, anything with music, I just want to love. I, I'd submerge myself into it deep as possible and never get uh, bored or fatigued from it. Like, now, what about your background with psychology? Because I see that you would also need your prerequisites in psychology. Okay. Um, the only background is the classes I took, you know, in the past. Right. And then... Which, remind me of those okay. things. I'm, I'm pulling up your transcript. Sure. Yeah. Um, community yeah, college. Yeah. Community oh, college. I had psychology classes. Which right. were... One of my favorite classes, by the way. Good. Did, why was it one of your favorites? Uh, it, it just seems like they were far, like the classes were finally speaking of real life and like real people and issues instead of like the old, you know all the other classes like English with like Animal Farm and you know just like 
Uh, uh, just out there, fictional like things, and of uh, course, way better than math and all that stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was like examining behavior and people, and uh -huh. just just sparked with me. Like finally, something felt like real. Yeah. In college wise. Like, now I'm looking, and uh, I can't seem to find 2014. What happened in 2014? Am I not reading the transcript right? Um, 14. I've got full 13, but then I don't. Then it jumps to full 15. Hmm. Yeah, but you did like the four, the four consecutive years. I I I did um, five years in community college, which, okay. and that ended. Yeah, that ended in like two thousand three, and then okay. then started back up in yeah two thousand fourteen. Okay. And then graduated last January. That's a journey. Yeah. That yeah. is a journey. So tell me about that. Tell me about the journey. Well, <clears throat> right after you know high school, I just was like full time into community college, but I just didn't really eighteen and stuff. I, I there were some classes I had to retake, and it just took more than two years usual. And then uh, then I just totally was into music. I joined a club and wedding band. And I've just been giving lessons, and then, uh, and I, up until uh, I started working in the high schools, but then I, uh, but then I got into Wilmington University online, and yeah. I just just went crazy and full time on there, and finished finished up my uh, bachelor's of science there. Okay. Okay. So I'm still in that mode of. Uh, <laughs> Progress, right. you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, and it, it looks like the, uh, the the courses that you did well in are the courses in music and psychology. <laughs> and the other ones, maths, earth and space, maths for teachers, you know, that, that, but like, yeah. you know, you've got C's and B minuses and B pluses. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so tell me about that. Tell me about the the big gaps between the the courses that you did that you got A's in and the courses that you got the the, the lower grade C's and B minuses. Um. Yeah. Like the psychology and music classes just feels natural to me. It doesn't feel like I'm doing work. Just feels like I'm exploring and um, like pleasure, and the other ones were just very taxing, like math. I barely even uh, passed that last math class, but I, I did. <laughs> and you made it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, what about being able to manage the rigor for graduate school? Because you know. We are graduate clinical mental health counseling course and music therapy course, and um, you know that requires a lot of reflexive work. It requires a lot of reflective work, a lot of, a lot of reading, and um, the time that it takes to do all of that and reflect and then synthesize that into assignments. You know, you need to be organized and, and really ready for that. Do you feel like that's something you would find challenging or that you would just get into and and roll with? I'd uh, embrace it <laughs> and roll with it. I'm, I'm excited to start that. Uh, my, I don't have any kids. I don't have much responsibility. I give music lessons and get out of the high school early during the day. I would love just to be uh, totally consumed with that. Okay. Now when did you find out about music therapy? 
one of my guitar students was just getting ready to graduate high school and she was going to music therapy somewhere in Pennsylvania. Oh. And I thought that was really cool because I never heard about it. And uh, this was years ago, but um, oh. and then um, then I was researching for uh, you know music music jobs, and I came across music therapy again, and uh, it just clicked. You know, I love psychology. I love music. I love helping my students, the ones that need help the most, like yeah. the group home, the schizophrenic. Um, and I always, I just see, um, I just see how much, like, they'll come in in a bad mood, and then we'll just start playing, going over yeah. some chords, and then just their attitude and emotions just change right away. Yeah. And just, that's yeah. just, I love that. Now, have you had a chance to get to know any of the literature in music therapy yet? Um... No. What about any of the work that the faculty in the music therapy department are doing? Oh, I... In the UT department? Yeah, I was watching some videos of uh, how they go about, like, their sessions and reading some of the uh, articles, and it, <laughs> it's really incredible just how you see... Uh, the clients, or how, what do you call them? The clients or the patients? What do you call them? Patients or not? Both. Clients, clients and patients. patients. Depending on, you know, if they're in the hospital, people might say patients in the medical music therapy. Oh, okay. Private practice, they might say clients. Yeah. Well, seeing their, their smiles, man. I, yeah. I, I, just, I, just, I just know it's great therapy. I want to be part of it. Okay. Yeah. Now, what I recommend to you is that you continue to do your own research on music therapy. Okay. Because I get a strong sense from you that it's um, it's a calling, that you feel like this is the kind of work that aligns with you and your sensibilities as a, as a musician, as an educator, or as you know, someone who really wants to move into working with... Um, music in a clinical way, in a deeper way, more meaningful way in that, in that perspective. Um, what I don't get from you at this point is uh, um, a little bit more knowledge about the field and, and really what it's about and, and I would like to be able to know that you're, you're going to go back now and just do a little bit more reading up. I'm going to give you and I don't think you know where to go either to look for the music therapy specific literature. Um, so I'm going to give that to you now so you can really get stuck into um, learning a bit more about the field and get excited about it. Okay. So there's an online open access um, journal, music therapy specific, called Voices. Okay. Voices, a world forum for music therapy. Okay. So if you Google that, it'll pop up, and all the articles there are free to download and to read. And what I like about Voice. this journal is that it's social justice and music therapy, and that aligns with what our program is about. We're very focused on social justice and arts okay. and therapy. And so I want you to really get a sense of like where you land with that as well, and how that aligns with you. and um, and how you would see yourself potentially being in a program that supports and really embeds social justice learning and work in, in the music therapy and counselling. So look up that and really, you know, really get to know what the faculty are doing at Leslie in the music therapy program. Okay. okay so start reading about our work, start getting to know what, what we're about so you know who you think you might be studying with. Because that's always a good idea, right? Yeah, definitely. Right. So um, there's also a, a publishing company called Barcelona. And Barcelona Publishing Company, just like the city, Barcelona, 
is a music therapy specific publishing company. So, you know, just take a look in there, browse through, see if there's something you can, um, you know, get interested in. Barcelona Publishers. Okay. Okay. Voices in Barcelona Publishing. That's right. Okay. All right. Now, do you have any questions for me? Hmm. Are you in England? <laughs> no. I know. Who knows, right? It's yeah. It's an online program. I'm actually in Cambridge, Massachusetts. In oh. Office. Oh, very good. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, come up. I hear it's beautiful up there. I've been to Boston once, but um. Yeah. Uh, we played up there. Our band. It was at the Hard Rock Cafe up there. Yeah. Nice. Good. Yeah. But um. Now I'm, on yeah. the, now I'm on the spot, but uh. <laughs> but it always happens. Yeah. So if you have any questions that pop up after we've met, feel free to just send me an email. All right. Yeah, sure. I'm happy to answer any questions, and you'll be you'll be hearing about our decision very soon. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. So I work on the prereqs for psychology. Okay. You need to get those. I recommend abnormal psychology and developmental psychology. And then look in the leslie.edu website for the principles and practices of music therapy. Okay. Of course. Because you do need the prerequisites and you know that, that definitely is something that um, I would highly strongly recommend to start looking into now and take. All right, well definitely. Okay. Sure. Because that those are regardless of music therapy program, those are the fundamentals to stepping stone into graduate work as well for here. Okay. All right. Will do. All right. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. You too. All right. Take good care. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye bye. Mustard. There we go. Cheese sauce.